Hi again, modelers. Well, on the next phase of our Enterprise C build up here, we are working on our lighting system and uh, wanted to show you what I'm going to be working with on this one. I'm doing something a little bit different on this one. Um, went over to my Radio Shack this evening to pick up some stuff and I noticed that they had these oversized LEDs. These are actually 10 millimeter uh, high intensity blue and high intensity white. And um, I got to thinking about this and I noticed that. Uh, working on the model a little bit, there's a lot of room inside the hull. There's a lot of room inside the engine nacelle, there's a lot of room inside the uh, saucer, and there's a lot of room inside the secondary hull to put these bulbs in. And my reasoning started saying to myself, well, maybe I could get away with less bulbs uh, and just go bigger size. So this is something that I'm going to give a try. Um, I've got my, uh, my uh, test board here set up. I'm running these right now at uh, four and a half volts with a 22 ohm resistor on each one. Uh, the one at the front here is the super bright white, and this one is actually the blue. I wanted to show you here real quick. I've just got this nacelle. Uh, not sure how good this is going to show for you here, but just this one bulb is just blowing this warp nacelle up. I mean, it's just lighting the heck out of it. I mean, it's a really deep... I know on video everything tends to glare a little bit, um, but this one bulb... So what my plan is going to be here is I'm going to... I'm going to mount a, uh, a small white bulb in the very front, and then I'll, uh, I'll uh, basically block that off on the inside. I'll build a little bulkhead in there for that, and then I'll, do, I'll just do my Bussard collector in, uh, in transparent red. So when that white bulb lights up at the front, it will uh, appear as red. And then uh, just behind this bulb, just behind the red bulb there and behind the bulkhead, I'm going to install this blue LED facing to the rear. And uh, once I go back in and apply my... Uh, I'm going to use some frosted paint on the inside of these lenses and uh, that will kind of diffuse this light down a little bit but it still should show through nice and blue and nice and bright and of course the uh, you can see these uh, these pieces here haven't even been painted yet and you're getting a lot of light bleed through there but once that's all toned down and isolated that's going to be really nice and I was thinking that I would probably have to do at least uh, three of the smaller five millimeter uh, white bulbs probably one here one in the center and one towards the rear and I'm really pleased just with this one bulb here, um, how how really strong that lights that up. And it's a really, really nice shade of blue without with just a perfectly clear lens here. Maybe you can see a little bit better with the uh, back a little bit further. Just, I mean, this, I can't even put the camera in the light. You can't look at this bulb. It's just super, super bright. And uh, those are actually going to be pretty cool. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to go back and... Uh, I'm going to get some of these wired up, my little wiring harness made here, and I'll come back and show you in just a second. Uh, I'm going to lay these down into the saucer, these white ones. I'm going to start off with three of them, and uh, we'll see how that goes. We'll close the saucer up and take a real quick look and see what our lighting's starting to look like. We'll be right back with that. Okay, modelers, we're back. Um, I've got my uh, LEDs set inside of this saucer here. Uh, what I went with uh, to start with is three of the 10 millimeter super bright white LEDs running these at uh, 4.5 volts with a uh, 22 ohm resistor. Let me go ahead and plug this in real quick. And as you can see we're getting a nice um, pretty nice even uh, lighting effect here around the uh, saucer with just the three of these bulbs. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, this is really coming out great. Now I haven't even uh, you're going to see a little bit of bright spots here and there. That'll be calmed down when I go back in and put my um, uh, my uh, acrylic clear in there and do the frosting over those windows so you'll be able to uh, still see a lot of bright light coming out of there, but you won't get that glare where the uh, where the bulbs are actually kind of centered. Um, let me get a, turn the light off here real quick and get a night shot of it. Wow, that looks really cool. Um, so yeah, that's... Uh, that's a couple of hundred, uh, at least two or three hundred uh, windows that were drilled out of this thing. And uh, I'm sure we're going to get the, night, the same effect here on the bottom uh, of the uh, secondary hull. Uh, I'm just holding this uh, saucer half together real loosely here. And when I actually tried to clamp down on it here without holding on to the camera, the, I was pretty pleased that there wasn't much light bleed at all. And again, having that lip on the bottom side of the saucer here is going to allow me to uh, go in and touch all that up after I glue this together and not have to worry about uh, doing a whole bunch of repainting on that. it will be easy to tidy that up. So, uh, yeah, that's the saucer. Let me crack the top open here and you can see what the... 
actually fits together pretty darn good. I have to pause the camera here for a second, be right back, and we'll give you a look at what the inside looks like. Okay, so there we are. Uh, you can see that we have just the three LEDs mounted here, and uh, I think we're going to go with that. I think that's given us enough light. Um, now, I've just got these temporarily put in place with some black tape, and uh, what I'll do here is, uh, let me unplug it so you're not getting the glare. You can kind of see what it looks like better. Um, yeah, and I'll be going in with some uh, some of the hot glue and uh, gluing all these wires down here to the bottom. You want to make sure that that hot glue you use is not too hot, that it melts your plastic, but uh, that or some uh, fast-drying silicone is highly recommended. You want to make sure you anchor these things down in place pretty good because over time, if they break loose on you, your lighting can all of a sudden you know, go off to one side or get too close to the top. I'm going to leave a little bit of black tape here on the bottom side of these, just uh, just slightly underneath of the bulb there so that when the, uh, they're lit up, the, the very bright edge of the bulb is not going to touch the plastic and maybe get a little hot spot there and get a, uh, get a little light bleed through the plastic with that. So, yeah, pretty pleased. It took me a whole of about 10 minutes to wire this up right here. I just start off by mounting all the bulbs down, and I just... Uh, Used my handy dandy wire strippers here and went along and just stripped the wire and laid it to each each bulb, soldered it, and moved on to the next one. So about 10 minutes to wire all that up, uh, and I've got extra wire coming out here that I'll uh, that I'll run down into my uh, secondary hull and connect that. Now the plan with this is I'm going to have three separate switches. I'm going to be able to light the lights, the main hull lighting, and then the uh, deflector dish, and then finally the warp engine. So that'll be pretty cool. In order to do that on the secondary hull, I'm going to have to uh, I'm going to have to put a bulkhead in behind the uh, deflector dish because I'm going to light that with another one of these uh, these uh, blue LEDs that I just showed you for the warp nacelle. So this is going to this is going to come out pretty nice. Uh, don't think I'm going to do any flashing lights on this. I may do the small uh, port and starboard running lights. Just have them on all the time. I'll, I'm, I'm looking around for some small LEDs to do that, but I'm not going to be putting a bunch of flashing strobes or all that fancy stuff in this one. Just uh, just kind of kind of keep it simple and. Uh, Again, I'm really pleased with how that lighting effect looks uh, just with these three bulbs. So there's some LED lighting for the Enterprise-C. Uh, next video we'll be back. We'll be doing some more work on the secondary hull, getting that uh, assembled and put together. By then I should have the two halves of the saucer completed. And I'll be doing, like I said, I've got to come back in here and do my acrylic and then do some frost work over that. And that'll help give me more even lighting with the window ports. And then... Uh, I'll do all my decal work on this whole thing. This will basically be a, basically be a finished piece by the time I uh, glue it down on top of the uh, secondary hull. So uh, things are coming along great. Thanks for following, and until we see you next time, happy modeling, everybody.